Good evening and welcome to the 2021 Red and White Benefit. I'm Father Mark Moriarty, and it is truly an honor for me to serve as the pastor of the Church of St. Agnes and the superintendent of St. Agnes School. Tonight, we are hosting this Red and White Benefit virtually, although we would love to have had it in person. Nonetheless, we are using modern technology to support a 133-year tradition here at St. Agnes of providing quality and faith-filled Catholic education. I must say, from day one of our academic uh, school year, we have provided in-person school. This could not have been possible without the hard work and sacrifices of our administration, our staff, our faculty, our students, our families, and of course, all of you. So first and foremost, I wanna say thank you for your prayerful support. Whether you are joining us today as a family of current students, a family of past students, as alumni, or as a friend of our school, I want you to know that we will continue to be faithful to our central mission of forming Catholic hearts and minds in faith, reason, and virtue. We begin every school day with a prayer, in fact, every class with a prayer, and so I'd like to invite Archbishop Hebda to lead us in prayer before we begin our proceedings. Lastly, thank you and God bless you. What could be more important than forming Catholic hearts and minds in faith, reason, and virtue? Since 1888, St. Agnes School has been pursuing that mission and pursuing it with great success. I'm always excited to participate in this red and white event. It's a magnificent opportunity to raise money for scholarships, allowing our young people to have that excellent St. Agnes education. I'm delighted to be part of this event this evening, and I certainly am hoping and praying for its success. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Loving God, we are so grateful for the opportunities that you give to us, opportunities to strengthen your church by passing on the faith. We ask you to bless all of those who are engaged in that important work at St. Agnes, whether it be students or faculty or administrators or benefactors. May we together resolve to always do everything that we can to educate our young people in the faith, help them to reach their potential, and continue to give you glory. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. St. Agnes, pray for us. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Father Moriarty, and thank you, Archbishop Hebda. Good evening. I'm Francesca, Student Council President, and I'm here with my fellow Council Member Devin. No event is ever a success without its guests, and tonight is no exception. We would like to take this opportunity to thank you all for taking the time out of your busy schedules to be with us this evening. It is such a great night and an honor to meet each and every one of you um, who support the St. Agnes Aggies. And that is why we love volunteering at the Red and White. Now, most nights we'd be greeting you at the door and serving you dinner, but unfortunately not tonight. Tonight, only Francesca and I are allowed to be here, and we are here on behalf of the entire student body. And on behalf of them, we would like to say thank you for being here. Before we get started, just a few housekeeping items. If you're viewing this on your laptop or TV, that's perfect. We would also suggest having a second device handy to log into the Giving Center. If not, you can also just open a second tab. The Giving Center is where you will bid on auction items, donate, and support us students. The reason it is important is that we don't want you to miss out on any of the live stream. As we keep going, having a second device or another tab open makes it easy so you never have to leave the fun. If you have any questions about, about the Giving Center, the address is listed below, bidpow.net slash red and white. Or you can text red and white to 243725. This info is also posted on the St. Agnes website at stagnesschool.org. We'd also love to hear from you. Post a comment in the YouTube chat section or post on social media using the hashtag RW2021. And don't forget to take a selfie of who you're watching with and post on social media. If you have any questions, please email benefit at stagnesschool.org or call the auction helpline at 651-925-8700. And now let's get this party started. 
I'm pleased to introduce you to our headmaster, Dr. Kevin Ferdinand, and our fundraising host, Mr. Glenn Fadabo. Well, good evening, everybody, and uh, welcome to the Red and White 2021. I am Kevin Ferdinand. It is my privilege to serve as headmaster at St. Agnes School for the past five and a half years. And it is also my privilege to welcome, Bla to, to welcome back Glenn Flatabo uh, as our fundraising host. Uh, many of you have known Glenn uh, based on his jokes about his Protestant background. <laughs> Glenn is a Protestant. He's joining our Catholic community. He's been here several years and he knows us well. Welcome back, Glenn. Kevin, thank you. And thank you for making an exception to let this Lutheran back tonight. I do want to say a personal Welcome to everybody at home. Number one, thank you for being with us tonight. This is important. What we do as a community tonight is so critical. And our goal with this event is to raise $300,000, 300,000. And Kevin, mm -hmm. I just looked at the meter right before we started. Matter of fact, it just updated. We are at $221,000 that we've raised so far. So we only have $79,000 left to go. Every time that you bid or make a donation tonight, you are helping us get closer to our goal. And we're going to have fun with this. We appreciate everyone rallying tonight and gathering. Kevin, we're going to have a great time. Thanks for being here, Glenn. Well, I'd like to tell you just a few things about the school. As Father Moriarty mentioned, we have been in person full time since August 25th. That means that over 700 students have been in our school each school day during the course of the past six months. Our enrollment in addition for next year, for 2021-22, will be over 800 students for the first time in a couple of decades. We are already full in fourth, fifth, and sixth grades. We are full in kindergarten and first grade, and we will soon be at capacity for ninth grade. And of course, none of that would be possible without the word of mouth advertising, our number one advertising coming from our parents and our alumni. Thank you so much for sharing your stories and encouraging others to check us out. And, of course, our most important mission of forming Catholic hearts and minds in faith, reason, and virtue. The history of this school is profound. Matter of fact, I was just shocked to learn that it's this old. It's been around since 1888. Just think of that, everybody. 1888. That's 133 years. And just think of the difference that that has made for thousands of families across our community over 133 years. We are so grateful for such a rich legacy, and we are so thankful that you're with us tonight. But before we get into our program, let's hear a little bit more about the history of our school. The history of Catholic education dates back centuries, posing these deeper questions of, who am I, who made me? What is my purpose? St. Agnes plays a vital role in Catholic education and has done so for generations. Founded on faith and tradition, St. Agnes continues this extraordinary work of providing students a liberal arts classical education for 133 years. What started as a small school, 160 students taught by the School Sisters of Notre Dame, has grown to nearly 800 students in 2021. For the 14th consecutive year, increased enrollment indicates that the best kept secret of St. Agnes is officially out. The sense of life, the sense of fulfillment through knowledge, athletics, and fine arts all occurs because of our foundation. Catholicism. Since 1888, God has continued to bless the school in times of plenty and in times of scarcity. The history of St. Agnes tells a story of hope and reminds us of the importance of community. St. Agnes has stood firm amid the changes of the world. It saw Aggie Athletics soar, the first IBM computer, it saw the hardship during the Spanish flu pandemic, two world wars, and the Great Depression. This year, St. Agnes, along with many other Catholic schools across America, have felt the impact of COVID-19. This year of change has brought growth, a renewed sense of purpose, and the heart of St. Agnes burns with more fervor. Much of our success can be attributed to the leadership of our teachers. They have answered the call to teach, to form young men and women of God in their journey to discover their role in the world. Forming Catholic hearts and minds, it's what we do. Let us inspire a culture of saints. 
May we educate our students in greater knowledge of Christ so that his example may inspire them to be a source of energy and leadership in our world. Once an Aggie, always an Aggie, we invite you to keep this tradition alive. I loved that video. I absolutely loved it. And speaking of history, we are so appreciative tonight to have so many alumni and past parents joining us. We are so thankful for your continued support. And just think of the improvements on this campus, Kevin. I walk into the auditorium tonight. We're in the Helene Hool Auditorium. I look at this remarkable auditorium. The campus has changed dramatically over the years. Yeah, Glenn, we've spent $25 million in infrastructure improvements over the course of the past 10 years. That's an amazing thing. From New School Electrical, which we just replaced this past summer, all of the fuse panels are now upgraded to circuit, circuit panels. Uh, we have new roofs, a new, uh, new uh, windows, a totally new Bandus gym, the Ubel Activity Center, and of course this Helene Hool Auditorium. But those aren't the only improvements we've made over the course of the past number of years. Some of them have been academic. We have a very coherent, challenging academic program. It is liberal arts classical, as, uh, as our video talked about. We also have an opportunity for dual enrollment with the University of Mary to the point where a number of our students uh, finish their college years in as few as three years and some in as few as two and a half years. And that's an amazing value add when you think about uh, the cost of college these days. But that's not all. The student body and the life of the student body is terrific. We have uh, house advisory and virtue programs that we've put into place over the course of the past decade. And it has led to a positive student culture. And for all you alumni out there who, uh, who walk these wonderful halls, I want you to know that Aggie spirit is alive and well in 2021. It's remarkable to hear of all the updates, all of the programs, all of the opportunities for students. But Kevin, we would be making a huge mistake tonight if we didn't talk about the heart and soul of our community, which is our teachers. Yeah, you're right. The heart and soul of St. Agnes is its teachers. They make extraordinary sacrifices to be at St. Agnes School. They sacrifice all kinds of other opportunities in their lives. But because of our teachers, our Aggies are, like, are unlike any other students. Our Aggie teachers have embraced God's call to the vocation we call teacher. Uh, and our teachers have done an extraordinary amount of work this past year to, uh, to restructure lessons, to serve kids who either uh, tested positive for the virus or had to be home on quarantine requirements. And they have worked uh, so hard to teach both in-person and hybrid learners. They've had to learn new technology and uh, they really are a great example of embodying the mission of our school. So grateful to them. And because of that, our students are leaving this institution as faithful, grounded, and very well-rounded young adults, ready to embrace the life that God has called them to, whether that's the priesthood or religious life or university studies or a trade or even military service. Any path that God leads them down, our students are prepared for that because of those wonderful teachers. Now, Kevin, I will tell you, I'd be in big trouble tonight if I as well didn't thank the teachers. My wife is a teacher. She's watching tonight with our two little girls. And I echo everything that Kevin said. Thank you to all of our teachers for everything that you've done, especially during this time, the challenges during COVID and all of the challenges that we face as a community over the last 12 months. Kevin, what, the numbers are staggering though. I mean, you're, you're approaching enrollment of 800 p uh, kids this fall. Mm -hmm. How have you dealt with this increase? Well, I, I have to say part of the, one of the consequences of the word being out from our alumni and our parents is the result of numerous students who want this education, who are good fit, mission fit families wanting to come to our school, such that when I arrived, we had 83 zip codes represented. We are now at 110 zip codes. That's an amazing thing to serve a, a group of people from 110 different zip codes. And it leads us to becoming one of the most diverse private high schools in, in America, uh, according to a website in 2020. 
We have a diverse uh, set of socioeconomic backgrounds. Uh, we range in, uh, in numbers of, uh, of, of uh, racial and ethnic uh, groups. Uh, but one of the things that, that's important for our audience here to know is that 75% of our families need some level of financial assistance. You know, one of the one of the great gifts of serving more students is uh, is that we get the opportunity to evangelize more. But more students also equals more need, which means that uh, the more students we accept, the more students we have to give financial aid for. And the red and white is our single largest financial aid source uh, every year, and it allows us or has allowed us to offer an affordable Catholic education to any family who wishes to come. But Kevin. And just be frank with everybody, isn't the other big secret the sense of community and pride? I mean, I felt this. When I walk into the gym for Red and White, this event, and see the excitement and the energy and alumni that are here year after year and people giving and the support and the legacy, the donors that don't leave, they stay with us. I mean, it is a remarkable sense of community here. The community, I think, is probably the most striking thing for me when I arrived here five and a half years ago. It's a community that really cares about each other. We see God in each and every person who walks through these doors. We share a love of Christ. We share a love of one another. And I wanted to, to tell you a story tonight. I wanted to il illustrate this community, to, to illustrate its strength by showing you a video of one particular family. She would come and bring her children <laughs> in to have lunch with her children who were in the elementary school. Paola, she's in preschool. Lucia, Bernadette, she's four, two, and 30 months. My name is Kateri and I am six. My name is John Paul Lopez Moran and I'm in and I'm eight years old. My name is Daniela Lopez. I am 12 years old and I'm in seventh grade. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sandra Lopez. I graduated in the year 2020. I'm Brianna Lopez. I graduated in 2018. And I thought, what a beautiful family. For 2014, we was looking for a high school for my oldest. She wants to come here. We know they have a elementary school, so we put everything, everybody here. It just felt very much like a home for us. I felt a lot more challenged here at St. Agnes. I feel like the day I'll graduate, I'll look back and say, yeah, is St. Agnes helped me become the person I am now. The good teachers helping me when I need help. I love doing homework. We like to how they teach the faith, what's different with the other schools. The St. Agnes have something special. Classes in high school in this St. Agnes school are really helpful to keep on travel and the path to college. I have a family, cousins in a public school, and I can tell the difference. When they go into college, so tough. What I'm forever grateful for St. Agnes is really like the challenges they set because that really helped me like better prepare myself with time management and be prepared for like challenging courses that I would be in in college. It's, everything was so beautiful. We live in Minneapolis for 23 years, two blocks away from Lake Street. I would sit down on my desk chair and just look outside and see all the people with their bikes and all the people with their dogs and just, I would just really love it. After the George Floyd, things change. We could just leave for, for weeks because we heard gunshots. And my kids that. was nervous. Yeah. Very nervous, and Kids they are. scare. It became very dangerous to go outside. You couldn't go outside without hearing a gunshot. It was scary. At first, it was difficult to understand and like see the places you grew up in no longer there. We don't have uh, stores open because they burn everything. Crazy time. Dr. Fernando called us. They called almost every day. At the time, we, the kids are out of the school. And she said, Dr. Ferdinand, I don't know where to turn. Uh, our, our whole neighborhood is blowing up 
around us. So I, um, I made three phone calls. Two people called me back and both of them said, I can have my place open for her tomorrow night, for her and her entire family. Two different people, I called three. And, uh, and I thought, this is the generosity of St. Agnes families, that all I had to do was make three phone calls. And that's, that's the way this community is. We feel love from the school. We have big family here. They were trying to make sure we were safe and to making sure that nothing happened to us. And it made me feel like nice that someone cared. This is a community, and it's a community in the best sense of that term, together one. I think probably St. Agnes's greatest strength is the community of kids and families and parents who love to be around each other. The generosity of the people here is, uh, is unparalleled anywhere I've ever seen. And that's, a, that's an amazing thing to behold. A special thank you to the Lopez Moran family for their willingness to allow us to invade their home and to see their family and to hear their situation. This is not an unusual story for St. Agnes. Our, we have families who experience difficult situations and we have a community that provides an immediate solution. Again, uh, we, we have families who are seeking us out, who want to be here, and we want to be here for our families as they are here for us and for one another. This community supports each other, and that's what this evening is about. Aggies coming together to support every student who comes through our doors. My friends, this is the moment right now that we can make the greatest difference. Our goal again is to see together if we can raise $300,000 tonight, 300,000. And I just looked at the meter, we're at $224,000, so we have about $75,000 to go. And just a reminder of the importance of this work, Tuition only covers 53% of the budget every year. Just think of that, 53%. We're asked and tasked with raising $3 million each year to fill that gap. And this year alone, $2.5 million of financial aid was awarded to families in need. 75% of our families rely on this tuition assistance each and every year. What that really means for all of us is that 75% of our families are facing a difficult situation and a difficult choice that without this financial assistance, this wouldn't be possible. Kevin, before I ask for everybody's help, I wanna share two things with everyone. One that you told me personally when we were practicing for this uh, tonight. Kevin, you shared with me, this would have never been an option for you growing up. Your family would, did not have the resources for a school like St. Agnes. It was, it's the same for me. I grew up in a family without a lot of means and this would have never been an option. I think of what we're doing tonight. I think of my two girls and I think of the girl that was just profiled on her video, that this will change her life. And it has changed thousands of kids' lives. My friends, we can do this together. We can get to 300,000. And look at the support that's already come in. And it is absolutely remarkable. Helene Hool, I wanna hug you and thank you for all that you've done. Helene has pledged $25,000 tonight. He, Helene, I know that you're watching at home. I did have the chance to talk to you on the phone earlier this afternoon. I miss seeing you. We are so grateful. So Helene is pledging $25,000. We've got a $25,000 gift from the Christian Legacy of Lo Love Trust. That's a second $25,000. Thank you to that trust for that gift of $25,000. Another woman that I want to give a personal shout out to. Lois Behrens. Lois, we could not be more thankful for your support. Lois is giving $15,000 tonight. Thank you, Lois. We have another gift at $15,000. Dan and Christine Buss, they are giving $15,000. And we have multiple gifts at the $5,000 level. The McCann family, Charlie and Karen, thank you for your gift of $5,000. Dale and Jan Ballman, they are giving $5,000 tonight. Dale and Jan, thank you for that gift. We also have a $5,000 gift from the Tebos tonight. Dan and Gretchen, thank you for that $5,000 gift. The gifts are coming in. To make a gift, all you need to do is you can hit the Make a Donation button on the bidding platform. You can also scroll down to see our progress as we go, so everyone can click on that button and make a gift. But I have a very special announcement at this at this time. There's an alumni family 
that we approached about tonight that has been strong supporters of ours. And we asked them if they'd consider doing a match. And this alumni family has decided that they will match every gift dollar for dollar up to $40,000 in the next few minutes. So anyone who pledges at the $2,500 level and below, this family will match every single gift up to $40,000. And I wanted to know what it was about St. Agnes that offered them and inspired them to continue to support us. And here's what they said. They said three things. They said, Glenn, number one, St. Agnes has been and continues to be faithful to the Catholic Church and its teaching in all of its fullness. Number two, because of our location, that St. Agnes in this urban environment is close to where they grew up, and they believe in the value and the benefit of supporting a strong school in an urban community. And lastly, on a personal note, the family wants the school around for generations, for their own kids and their grandchildren. To the family that's doing the $40,000 match tonight, we could not be more appreciative for your support. Let's meet that match together. We can do this and hit that $40,000 amount. And by the way, look at these other gifts. Sean Sweeney, a huge thank you to you for your $2,500 gift. The Flood, the Flood family, they are pledging $2,500. Bob Whalen at $2,500. The Walriches, Tom and Nancy, they're giving $2,000. Tworsky and the Fabozzi families, they're giving $1,500 each. Tom and Mary Gormley, they are giving $1,000. Keep those pledges coming in. We're going to announce these totals as we go. We are increasing. Increasing, Kevin, that is a good sign. We're at 230, my gosh, she's doing uh, $239,000 is where we're at. We're going to do this together. And by the way, as we're doing this, we're going to have some fun. We're going to promote some auction items in the next few minutes. So when everyone's pledging, um, we are going to promote some auction items. One last thing I'd like to say, though, about this moment. Whether we end up raising $300,000 or if we pass this and get to $325,000 or $350,000, if you're at home right now thinking, well, my $10,000 or my $15,000 or $2,000, will it make a difference? Kevin, the other thing you shared with me, there, ha there has been a time that we didn't have all of the resources to offer financial assistance. This year especially, when none of us know how the economy is doing and coming out of COVID, it is likely that the needs will be greater for so many of these families. So everything that you do tonight is so critical. Thank you for all of your support. Francesca and Diva and Devin, we're going to have fun in the next few minutes. We're going to promote these auction items. Are you guys ready for this? I'm excited. <laughs> Here we go. So why don't you tell us, um, Devin and Francesca, about our top, our first items. We're going to go through our travel packages. Now you can bid on these items till 930. By the way, the more money you spend, the more fun you'll have on these packages. So here we go. <laughs> tell us about package number one. Let's see. Our first destination is the Sanibel Island Vacation Home. It's a one-week stay for six or more guests in beautiful Florida in a two-bedroom, two-bathroom, high-end condo, which is just footsteps away from the beach with the best seashells in the world. It has a private rooftop deck with a panoramic view of the Gulf of Mexico. Next up, we have a pilgrimage for two to the destination of your choice. We are offering the opportunity to travel to the world's most memorable and faith-inspiring sites with Mater Dei. Priests, a priest will accompany you on each tour to offer daily masses, offer rosaries, meditations, and much more. Now you have a choice. You can go to many different destinations such as Poland and Hungary, Our Lady of Guadalupe, or the Holy Land. Now this can be used for 2021 and 2022 travel. Next up, a little closer to home, is our vacation in Hayward, Wisconsin. It's a four-day, three-night stay in the woods on Moose Lake in a rustic 1930s cabin that sleeps 12. It's on eight acres of woods and over 3,000 feet of private shoreline. You have access to snowmobile and ATV trails, fishing, skiing, and exploring. Want to visit the Great Lakes? Well, you have the option to visit one. Our next item is a weekend stay on Lake Superior. There's a three-bed and a three-bath log home in Castle Danger. One of the bedrooms is a master bedroom with a fireplace and a jacuzzi. And this entire cabin is just feet away from the shores of Lake Superior. You have access to a pool, a hot tub, a sauna, a bar, and a restaurant at Grand Superior Lodge. All right, everybody, listen to this. We are now at $245,000 towards our $300,000 goal. So we have $55,000 left to raise. We are making remarkable progress. By the way, I want to offer a few notes on these travel packages. Great job, you guys, by the way. This Sanibel package, everybody has to bid. It's worth $100,000 tonight. The reason is it's going to be 50 degrees below zero this week here in Minnesota. 
That's a better joke at the Lutheran events, by the way, I will tell you that. Um, no, you have to bid super high. The Sanibel package, here's what's fun about this. When we opened the bidding this week, um, somebody did a buy it now and they bought the first week for $12,000. So when we approached the family and we told them about this, they said, great, we'll give you a second week. And the current bid is only $2,500 right now. So it's a great opportunity. It's $9,500 cheaper than what it sold for three days ago. So you have a ton of opportunity there. The second package, this pilgrimage package, I love that item. The current bid is $6,000 on that one. Have fun bidding. We also have these two local staycations in Hayward and Castle Day of course on the North Shore great items you can bid till 930 here we go we're going to the next package we are doing our sports <laughs> packages you guys tell us about these yes first up we have our Notre Dame football weekend it's, it includes two tickets to a November 6th game versus Navy and a two-night stay at the tiny leprechaun Airbnb which is just blocks away from the stadium our second sports option is my personal favorite is you get to become a football coach for one St. Agnes Aggie home game. Aggie football has reached the section finals in the last three years, and you have the opportunity to see them up close and in action. You get to be a part of the coaching staff at one home game this fall, and Coach Flood may ask you to call some plays. You get to listen to the sideline strategies and possibly boss me around a little bit. Next up for all of our baseball fans, we have a game with the Minnesota Twins Champions Club. You get to attend a Twins game in style in the Champions Club with two seats behind home plate, valet parking, gourmet buffets, and a valet service at your seats. Listen to this. We are now at $252,000. We are making progress. Great job, everybody. Devin, I do have to ask you one question. Now, believe it or not, I've been an auctioneer for 25 years. I have never in my entire career ever sold the chance to be a football coach for a game, okay? Now, I know that you're on the team. Here's my question. If somebody's at home tonight and they're thinking about bidding the, on this, will you guarantee that you will win the game that they coach? I'd love to say yes, but that all depends on what plays you call. Now, let me, let me change it. If somebody bids $10,000 on this, will you guarantee that you'll win the game? 10000 I can guarantee we'll that win was that the, game. That was the perfect answer. <laughs> perfect answer. We've got some great items. I know everyone's going to love to get back to Target Field, the Champions Club item as well. Here's our next group. Francesca, tell us about our dinner food packages. Well, first up is my favorite. It's the ice cream man. <laughs> Big Bell Ice Cream will make a special delivery to your child's classroom or your place of business with ice cream treats for one entire class or one entire office staff. It doesn't get sweeter than that. <laughs> Next up, you have the opportunity to have a private personal chef dinner party for up to eight guests. Carline Bankston will prepare a five-course dinner at your home. Carline is a personal chef, a cookbook author, and the owner of Dine for Dinners and an Aggie alumni. Next, it's Brunch with the Sisters. Eight guests will be hosted by our very own Dominican Sisters of Mary, Mother of the Eucharist. Brunch will include eggs, fruit, home-baked breads, and delightful conversation. <laughs> Now, this next one's a little hard for me. As a, pe as a pescatarian, I can say this is only good for the meat eaters. The next one, um, next thing up for bid is the North Bridger Bison Quarter. So what this is, is you have the opportunity to receive 80 to 100 pounds of bison meat. All these bison have been Montana raised, grass fed, and field harvested. You have the options and possibilities of getting steak, tenderloin, roast, and ground bison. So here's another update, everybody. We are at $258,000. Kevin, we are getting closer. We only have $42,000 left to go to hit our goal. This is remarkable. I want to thank some of the families that are pledging. Lois Barron, uh, she pledged $10,000 tonight. Tom and Jean Houghton. Jean, I miss you. Uh, thank you for watching. Tom and Jean, uh, they have pledged $1,500. Brad and Stacia, they pledged, uh, pledged $2,500. Sandy Kloss, uh, thank you, Sandy, for that $5,000 gift. A man that I, matter of fact, one of the first persons to ever hire me in my career was the next family, Rick and Susan. Um, Contino. Contino, thank yeah. you, Kevin. <laughs> Rick hired me at a, to do an event many, many years ago when I was a young man. Rick, you probably shouldn't have hired me. I was that young, but thank you for your $5,000 gift. We are uh, approaching 260,000. Again, all of the auction items are open till 9.30 tonight. Every single time you bid, you're making a difference. The dinner item is great. Francesca, we have one last item. This is kind of our yearly favorite that we do. Indeed. Last but not least are the sounds of Christmas. 
Turn your family or office Christmas party into a showstopper with one half hour of caroling by the Magical Singers, featuring some of our finest student singers, all directed by our choir teacher, Dr. Christopher Ganza. Again, everybody, we are at $259,000. Before we pass into our, our final closing program elements for tonight, Francesca and Devin, I want to ask you this. You, first of all, you did a great job, both of you. So thank you for co-hosting. Okay. Francesca, I know that you're a senior this year. If you could share with everybody at home, what are your plans next year? I'm planning on attending either the University of Dallas or Notre Dame. I haven't decided yet. <laughs> Good for you. And Devin, how about you? Um, I would like to attend Yale, Stanford, or go to an HBCU. That's awesome. Well, we will monitor your and track your success. Great job. We're getting closer to hitting our goal. Kevin, we're doing great. We are doing great. Yes. Thank you for your service to us. It's great. And now we've got uh, one last um, crowd performance, I believe, and we're going to roll that video. And now for the time that many of you are, have been waiting for, our raffle winners. We will start with our 50-50 raffle winner of $5,000, and then we will conclude our raffle drawings with our car raffle winner. And I know that some of you showed up just to see who was going to win this. So uh, because I know you don't trust me as the headmaster of the school, I know you will trust Sister Teresa Christie. She prays more than I do. And so we, uh, we invite Sister Teresa Christie to come up and, uh, and draw the two winners. Dig deep. The winner of the 50-50 $5,000 raffle is Linda Sitko. Linda, congratulations to you. Again, Linda Sitko. And now for the car raffle drawing, in case you think we rigged it, we're gonna spin it just two more times. All right, sister, dig down to that one, please. And the winner is Yev Yet Yevtikov, Yev Yev Yevtikov from Roseville. Congratulations to you! You are the winner of the car raffle. Thank you, sister. Uh, the the uh, the raffle this year, the car raffle, 
Uh, last year we were at $96,000 for a total, and because Ms. Hool donates that car each year, all of that money goes straight into our scholarship funds. Uh, this year we raised another $10,000 to $106,000. So uh, grateful to all of you who purchased uh, raffle tickets. If you weren't with Yev, uh, better luck next year. Uh, thank yous especially tonight for all of our upper, upper level sponsors. A special thank you to Mary Jo Feltel and Feltel and Company. Mary Jo has sponsored this gala and has been the private uh, sole sponsor of the gala for the past number of years, at least as long as I've been here. Uh, a special thank you as well to Helene Hool for her sponsorship. Uh, thank you to Father Burns, who sponsored on behalf of St. Mary's University of Winona. Father Burns is also an alumnus of the school. A special thank you as well to our upper level sponsor, Nassif Mechanical. Uh, I'm grateful for the heat that we have here tonight. And, uh, and since it's minus five degrees outside, grateful to you for all, all your help keeping our mechanical systems going. To Warner Stellion as well, we have a couple of Warners who are graduates of our institutions. Thank you for this. Uh, and then Cousin O'Connor uh, and Tom Walrich, uh, who's also an alumnus here. So grateful to you for all of your sponsorship and thank you for your generosity. Kevin, great job. Thank you for your leadership. Uh, to everyone at home, we are over $266,000, so we have about $34,000 to go. Every time you pledge tonight, you're helping us get closer. Two quick points to make as you consider making a gift. The average financial assistance for an elementary student is $2,500. For a high school student, it's $6,000. And I do want to say on a personal note to all of you, I appreciate, and the community appreciates what you've done. This is so important for kids and our community and underwriting this opportunity that would never exist for families. So on behalf of all of us tonight, we are so grateful that you've gathered and you've rallied behind us. Let's get to $300,000. We can do this as a community. And our, my last set of thank yous before I turn it back over to Francesca and Devon, uh, I'd like to thank Chris White and the Celestial Studios uh, employees for their production of this virtual event. Uh, I'd also like to thank Mary Appel, Kate Boyle, Tom Flood for all your work to prepare what we have uh, going for us tonight. And uh, a special thank you to Francesca and Devon and of course to uh, Glenn Flatabo for being here as well. So Francesca and Devon, please. Well, as our night comes to an end, I want to thank you all for joining us virtually. I know this year is a lot different from past years, and we would love to go back to those times, but I hope you guys have had a splendid night with us. I want to take the opportunity to thank Dr. Ferdinand, thank the administrators especially, and just the overall St. Agnes faculty for giving us the ability to be in the classroom um, and learn face-to-face -face with our teachers. You guys have no idea how grateful that has been for me and for the rest of the student body. And thank you so much to all of our parents for your tremendous sacrifices. Lastly, and most of all, thank you to our donors. Your support has and will continue to drive St. Agnes closer together as a community. We've had a wonderful evening, and we hope to see you all in person next year. Thank you, and good night.